this is Bennett Senior Emily Schrammick reporting to you about all the exciting events taking place inside the Academy. This week I'm going to focus on many of our accomplishments at the state level and the sold out level. First, let us chat with the team that already knows what it feels like to be number one, Miss Kathleen Doyle with the Bennett Academy Lady Red Wings basketball team. Oh. <laughs> hey Kath. Um, so first to start off, are you still on cloud nine? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was such a great weekend. I didn't want it to end. It was so fun, and it was awesome to win with the girls. Yeah, it's exciting to be with the team and the banquet and yeah, all the hotel rooms, like all the exciting stuff, and it was great that you guys went to state. Yeah, it was really fun. So how, conf how confident was the team going into the state game? Like, was there any hesitation with the teams that you were playing, like HF the first day, or were you guys nervous about that, or were you guys pretty confident throughout the whole weekend? I mean, we definitely respected the other team's competition level, and we needed, we knew we needed to play well to win, but ever since we won the Montini Christmas tournament, we really felt like we had a really good opportunity to win it all, and we did that, so it was really, it was and really awesome. And having already beaten Fremd before, was there a different game plan, or did you guys go through the same thing, or what was your game plan for HF? Uh, I, we had never played HF before, so that was kind of a new game plan, but we just stuck to our plan and tried, tried not to change too much uh, so we can just play the way we played all year. But for Fremd, we were confident in how we played them the first time, so we knew if we did the same things that we did well in the first time that we would win the second time too. Um, what do you think that your team's strengths were this year that led you to the success? Because you've had great players other years, but they've the team as a whole hasn't made it to this, hasn't gone to state before. So mm -hmm. what do you think was particular about this year? Uh, I think the girls on the team, we were really close. Uh, I mean, I think the chemistry on and off the floor really helped. I mean, we knew we were g where we were going to be on the floor, and just knowing how each other play really helped. So I think that probably took us the farthest, yeah. I know the buzz on the street is, could it be a two-peat? So what do you think <laughs> about that? Uh, yeah, we sure hope so. I mean, we're confident in the girls that we have coming back, so it should be an exciting year. Okay, well, thank you. Thanks. After talking to someone who's already experienced the state level, now I'm going to talk to Tommy Feldman, who's waiting for that experience to happen this upcoming weekend. So Tommy, what's the energy on the team like going into this weekend? Um, I feel like it's a little bit of nervous energy, playing mm -hmm. in front of so many people. Um, the, the Blackhawks administration is trying to get the biggest high school hockey game ever in Illinois. Wow. So just knowing that kind of like makes us nervous yeah. to play in front of like maybe like 10,000 people, so that's, we're a little nervous, yeah. but we're excited. That's crazy. Um, what do you think the outcome of the game will be? Um, I think if we play our game, mm -hmm. we'll uh, put up a good fight, and hopefully we'll come out with the victory. Yeah, I'm, I've been to a few of your guys' games this year. You guys are so good. Because yeah. I went last year to one, and you guys are way better this year. And uh, <laughs> we played them three times, mm -hmm. and we started our backup goalie twice, and so we lost those games, but then... Uh, we split our we'll go Justin, them, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Um, how is it? How exciting is it to play at the United Center? I mean, playing at the United Center is like nothing else. Um, I've never experienced it, but just like picturing playing where like the pros play mm -hmm. is just unreal. And I've heard from previous players that have played there that it's so much fun and like the Blackhawks people take such good care of you yeah. and everything. So yeah, we're excited to. Like, on Sunday. yeah, like, I got to play at the college, yeah. but, like, playing at a pro yeah. must be so much cooler. Yeah, like we're all meeting at some bridges and we're busing down mm -hmm. Sunday morning. Coach so, bus? Yeah. That's so cool. So, it'll be fun. Um, and do you guys have any, like, pregame rituals? Um, it's usually just, like, chill in the locker room, just, mm -hmm. like, turn on some music, and, uh, like, half an hour, 40 minutes before the game, we all go stretch as a team, and then after that, it's, like, you're on your own, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck this weekend, nice. and thanks for talking. Now taking it to a different type of court, I'm here with the president of the mock trial team who recently went down to University of Illinois for state over this past weekend. Hi, Rachel. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me, Emily. Yeah, thanks for being here. Of course. So you had an exciting weekend. You guys went down to state. Um, was this the mock trials team's first time down there? Uh, no, it wasn't, actually. This was my... Personally, my fourth year down state. Wow. Yeah, we've been really lucky to uh, be selected. But this was your first time as being president, right? Oh, no, actually, I have been president for the past two years. Wow. Yeah. That's so exciting. 
so. Um, so some of us are less familiar with the mock trial club. Um, so can you like explain it to a little bit of explain a little to our viewers who might not be as familiar with it? Yeah, of course. Um, well, mock trial basically the Illinois State Bar Association releases a fake case for all the high schools in the area to use. Mm -hmm. um, and each school splits their team into the prosecution defense, and then you face schools or uh, teams from other schools around the area. Okay. So, um, do these trials mirror a real trial, or are they set up so you know that you're in, you're not in a real trial? Um, well, I think most people there realize that they're not actually in court, but yeah, they make it <laughs> as realistic as possible. They have real jury, real judge members. Um, they're usually volunteer lawyers from the area, and it's pretty realistic. So, are there any future megastar lawyers coming out of this club, or? Um, you know, my vice president, Anne-Marie Hawley, really wants to be a lawyer, and I'd say probably a third of the club as a whole wants to, uh, so possibly. Wow, that's so exciting coming out of Bennett. So, thanks again for meeting with us today, and good luck to you guys next year. Ah, oh, thanks, Emily. It's a pleasure meeting with you. <laughs> now going from Martins to Daniels, I am here with Mr. Banks himself, Derek Rippey, to talk about the musical Mary Poppins. So, how does this musical compare to others? I think what this musical, what we bring compared to the past years is Mary Poppins is such a very heavy technical show compared to the other musicals that we've done in the past. So, uh, I think adding the layer of fog and the magic part of it mm -hmm. really kind of steps up our game. Yeah. Um, so what's your favorite scene from the musical? My favorite scene from the musical is in Act 2. It's called Let's Go Fly a Kite, oh. where Mary... Saw it yesterday. I saw it yesterday. That was enchanting. I'm that glad scene. you enjoyed it. Um, where Mary returns... Spoiler alert, sorry. <laughs> um, and Mary flies back, and everyone is in the park with kites, and these kites come up, and it's just... It's very cool. It, uh, it's an all-chorus number, and I'm ac actually not in it, so I get to watch it from mm -hmm. backstage, and I get to see everyone engage, and all the kites fly up, and Connor Druin, who's a senior, his dad masterminded this awesome thing where the kite flies up with this series of pulleys, and then these other kites come down. It's mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah. My, I liked that scene, and I also liked the tap dancing scene. Yes. That one was... The tap scene is a, another favorite scene of mine. It, the dance was just... It's just phenomenal. Yeah, because I feel like most of the cast is on stage. Like, there's so many people, and I just... It was great. Thank you. So, compared to other musicals, how do you feel that the costumes and props are for this one? Just like all Bennett musicals, the costumes are phenomenal, mm -hmm. and the props are phenomenal. The costume moms work really hard to make sure that everything looks period appropriate, that everything looks perfect, and the props are always just amazing. Yeah, last night on the stage, it was full of color, like, the whole entire show. It was amazing. So, how do you manage your nerves before a sold-out show? I think I like to th I like to think of it not so much that I'm nervous as I'm excited that I get to portray this character of George Banks mm -hmm. to an audience. And I think as you get more comfortable with the role and the more you do it, the nerves kind of wear down, if that makes sense. Yeah. Not, you don't get as nervous mm -hmm. as much. Okay. Uh, thank you for meeting with us, and if you haven't seen the musical, be sure to check it out. Thank you.